Time now for winners and losers, and for that, we welcome in CBS Sports college football writer Barrett Salee here to give us his winners and losers from our first full Saturday of college football. And Barrett, there's really one clear winner, Coach <laughs> Prime in Colorado. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't think anybody thought that he'd come in and get a win like that. Uh, and really, they dominated. They looked like the better team. They looked like a better roster. They looked like a, a deeper roster. And to, to me, I never would have thought that. We all know about the roster turnover that they've had. It's basically a brand new team. And I think on top of that, it's not like it was a surprise what they were doing. They were letting Shadur rip it, and they were letting Travis Hunter be Travis Hunter, and TCU couldn't stop it. And so for Dion to go out there and back up the hype that has been following him basically all offseason, I think it's huge for the program, huge for, for him. And it, it, I think it, it solidifies this as a, a path and a construction project that can be followed. He created a blueprint. Now, not many future coaches can do it like Dion because he's pro coach prime. But uh, yeah, Colorado, they're, they're going to be in the top 25. And look, maybe it's justified, maybe it's not. But that was an absolutely phenomenal game, a landmark win for Colorado, and an announcement that Colorado is going to be a force to reckon with in the Pac-12 this year. Yeah, they were 20 and a half point dogs against TCU last season's national runner-up. They pull off the upset. Up next, their home debut, Matt Rule and the Cornhuskers coming in, and Prime is a favorite in that one. And Barrett, you know the margin between winning and losing in major college football is razor thin because had Colorado lost, we'd probably be sitting here talking about how Colorado was all hype and no substance. <laughs> yeah, but that's right. not the case. Like, that's how razor thin these kind of situations are. As for the case for Biggest Loser, well, that's also an easy choice. Well, you know, the easy choice could be TCU, but I'm going to go a little bit off the radar. I mean, we can't have two from the same game, no. right? I'm going to go a little off the radar. Another team in Texas, Baylor Bears, losing to Texas State. That's Texas State's first win over an FBS opponent. It's an in-state opponent. It's a team in Baylor that I think really was, uh, you know, they were out of the top 25, but I think they're a team that could have ended up top 15, top 10, contending for the Big 12. They got absolutely rolled, and T.J. Finley was the quarterback that did it to them. So we can talk about, you know, South Carolina being a loser and TCU being a loser and, and all that stuff. Off the radar, that is a devastating, devastating loss for Dave Aranda. Yeah, Baylor was a minus 4,500 favorite on the money line. T.J. Finley, the Auburn transfer, four total touchdowns in this one, and, and it doesn't get any easier for Baylor. Um, play Utah next week. That's not good. That's yeah. not good at all. I mean, my goodness. Texas State earns his first win over a Power 5 team. Baylor, uh, that's uh, just, uh, uh, that's, that's tough. And, that's a tough. And good nugget on TCU, getting back to TCU. They've lost three of their last four games and played in the national championship game during that span. That's a good nugget. Barrett Salee. It is. Dropping knowledge. I can do math. Here on CBS Sports HQ. Thank you, my friend.